Christians. What, what do you mean? He says, if a brother wanders from the truth, what does it mean to wander from the truth? To err, to slip away, it means to go astray. Uh, it means to move about aimlessly as though lost. It, it, it's a word that means to get off course. Jesus would talk about his concern for his children in Matthew 18, 12, was he's the shepherd, we're the sheep. And he said, what, what do you think? So he asked you the question. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, does he not leave the ninety and nine and go to the mountains to seek the one that is straying? And I could go into a whole... Um, thesis on and what it means to, to look for straying sheep, but we know that that sheep alone doesn't stand much of a chance against all the predators. And the Bible warns us, warns us, warns us about a life of isolation. The Bible says a man who isolates himself seeks his own desires. He's not concerned about others speaking their life. So that's why we've got to go out and seek them. Also, that sheep could get out, and since most of its body weight, the majority of the body weight of a sheep is water, if he lays over, uh, it, the, stri the sheep does not have the potential of rolling back over. Its legs are up in the air, and unless a shepherd comes and sits it back on its feet, it can perish in that Mediterranean sun. There's so much into this text. Now, it, it puts it into context of how it fits, like, okay, if it's a spiritual decline, in what area of our life? First of all, in conduct. Notice what it says. If they wander from what? From church? It doesn't say that. It says if they wander from the truth. It uses a, what we call a definite article in the Greek text, ho, which means the truth, the absolute truth. It's a system of doctrine or a system of conduct. Listen to this. Listen carefully. The truth it's referring to is the plumb line. Somebody may say, that's just your interpretation. No, it's the plumb line. It's not uh, up for your suggestion or mine. It's clear. It's that law we can overstep. It really becomes the truth, the guidance. So the action in this text is straying, is active, not passive. <laughs> They're not being carried away. They are moving of their own accord away. It's a conscious decision to walk away. It's the belief and behavior that's moving away from the truth. And by the way, here's a statement. When I said he's not wandering from the church, he's wandering from the truth, you do not have to leave the church to leave the truth. See, you can leave the church and be out there wandering on your own and be far from God, but you can stay in the church and be here every Sunday and be far from the truth. Well, wow, that's, that's a pretty bold statement. Listen to what Proverbs, written by the man of wisdom, Solomon. Proverbs 5.14 says, I was on the verge of total ruin in the midst of the assembly and congregation. I, I was still there every Sabbath day in Solomon's day, but my heart was far from God. I had wandered away from truth. So to stray from truth is to fail to align their practice with their profession.